Hi, it's uh, Nick from Digital Yacht with an update today on our PC navigation solutions, part of our Digital Yacht solutions package. We're going to take a look at how PC navigation can really work on a boat navigation and instrumentation system. So this is our Aqua Compact Pro PC. It's available in two models, an Intel i3 or an Intel i7 based version. They're the latest 10th generation of product that we've got. So the very latest Intel processors is using low power, direct DC operation, so you can connect them straight to your boat's battery system, and a full range of interfaces, USB, network, Bluetooth, audio, and Wi-Fi. So the benefits of PC navigation are that you're not tied to a proprietary system. You can install any software on the PC platform and use that for your charting and instrumentation needs. So choose from a plethora of different packages, Noble Tech, MacC, Euronav's uh, C Pro product, um, open, open source products such as OpenCPN, our own Smart Attract product and so on. And the great thing is software is upgradable all the time and you can switch between packages as well. So if a particular package does great charting for the US, you can use that. And if another one is fantastic for Australia or Europe, you can use that. PCs as well offer terrific value and the ability to connect to big screens. So this is our S124, a 23.5 inch high definition LCD monitor, which connects direct to our Aqua PCs. It's great for chart table or below deck mounting. And the Aqua PCs will actually support up to three screens. So you can mix and match as well. You can have a smaller screen uh, at a chart table installation, larger screen in the salon and so on. You're not tied to this particular type of screen. Of course, you can use any LCD monitor with a PC navigation system, including touch screens as well, if that's your preference. So the next challenge is to get data into the PC from your boat's navigation system. It may be that you have an existing NMEA 0183 or NMEA 2000 system. We offer interfaces for both, either our simple USB NMEA adapter cable for 0183 or a more powerful iConvert USB interface for connecting up to NMEA 2000. So an NMEA 2000 backbone is going to be the feature of what we look at today. That's the most modern method of connecting up products and so on. And uh, a simple backbone arrangement allows you to plug in sensors, plotters, multifunction displays, AIS and so on. iConvert then plugs into the backbone and makes all the data available for the PC. It's bi-directional too, so it can send data back from the PC, for instance autopilot commands, back onto the bus to control an autopilot. So it is totally integrated. Next thing we want to do is we want to add an AIS to the system. As we're building a new, really sophisticated system, I take a look at our AIT2500. This is a Class B Plus product, so using the latest 5 watt SOTDMA technology. Super simple to install. It will just tee into the backbone. Again, AIS data is then made available for your navigation app running on the PC. The AIT2500 needs a VHF antenna to connect to or a suitable splitter like our SPL2000. Uh, and then once connected, it will also provide GPS data for the system. So you've got a source of GPS data for your PC navigation system. Additional sensors like compass, depth, speed, wind can simply tee into the backbone. And because you're using NMEA 2000, you can, you can cherry pick whichever sensors you want from whatever manufacturer and access that data through the PC app. Now let's take a look at software. We offer our own Smart Attract package, which uses Navionics charts. It's a great solution if you've already got Navionics charts running on a traditional chart plotter because you don't need to buy a new cartography. But today we're going to look at our premium solution. It's a product called Time Zero, produced by Maxi, and it allows for radar integration. And the reason that it's a premium product is that it can select, you can, as a user, you can select between multiple chart sources. So you can either have a Navionics based chart source, a CMAP based chart source, alternatively map media, which is a raster based uh, hydrographic office type approach. So fantastic flexibility in terms of charts. You can orientate charts north up, course up, you have multiple chart windows open, multiple chart types open, uh, and you can even uh, have AIS and radar overlays. Finally, we want to add radar to the system. We can use Furuno's latest range of Doppler radars. This is the DRS-4D, a 24 inch radar antenna uh, that simply connects to the Aqua PC network interface will provide the latest solid state Doppler technology, uh, radar technology, to the Aqua range of PCs for radar overlays and so on. Color coded targets, you can code a target uh, green or red depending on whether it's a dangerous target based on uh, MARPA target tracking. So to get all that to work really well, you also just need our HSC 100, a compass sensor on the enemy A2000 bus if you haven't already got something there. And that forms this terrific PC based navigation system. Thanks very much for listening.